All right, multi-AZ and read replicas. These are two deployment options for RDS. Let's have a look at how they differ. We're going to start with multi-AZ deployment. Let's say we have our region here and two availability zones, and we spin up our RDS database in uh, one of them. Well, what happens if this availability zone is unavailable or if um, there's something is temporary not working or something happens to our database? Well, our website or application still needs to be running. It still needs to be servicing customers. So how are we going to go about that? Well, that's where multi-AZ deployment comes in handy. With multi-AZ deployment, you get a standby database in another availability zone. And the main purpose of this is high availability. So meaning that if something happens to this availability zone, the original one, if it uh, fails or it's uh, temporarily unavailable or our database is temporarily unavailable, then our application will still be available to users because um, the EC2 instances that are using the original database will switch over to this standby database. And uh, until that happens, any data that is put into the original database is copied in synchronous replication into this standby database. And that's important to remember for the exam that in multi-AZ deployment, the replication type is synchronous, meaning that data is copied pretty much instantaneously over to this other database. Um, and uh, therefore, we have a fresh copy of the database of the data in there all the time. And uh, you have two options when you're setting up this standby database. You can either select an instance uh, standby database or a cluster standby uh, deployment. So in the instance type, you just get exactly what we see on the picture. You just get one standby database, which you cannot use for anything else. It's just there. Um, storing this data in case something happens to the original database. And if something does happen, then everything is switched over to the standby um, very quickly. On the other hand, if you select cluster, then you will get two uh, multi-AZ databases. This is a recent, this is a recent um, new feature of Amazon. Uh, you will get two um, standby instances. They will be in different availability zones and both of them will support read workloads. So not only will they be standby instances, but also um, your EC2 instances will be able to read data. They won't be able to write data into this database, but they'll be able to read data from uh, these standby databases. Um, so that's uh, multi-AZ deployment in a nutshell. The main purpose of uh, multi-AZ deployment is high availability. Now let's talk about read replicas. With read replicas, we've got slightly a different a slightly different situation. So here again is our region. There's our RDS instance. With read replicas, you can set them up. Um, you can set up up to five read replicas per database. And basically, your data will be copied into these read replicas. Uh, it's copied via asynchronous replication. So there is a slight delay. It's not massive, just a slight delay in copying data uh, to these uh, databases. And the benefit of this is uh, you can scale. You're effectively scaling your database horizontally, but only for read operations. So how does this work? Here are our EC2 instances. They still write into this main database, but when they need to read data, they can read data from any of the uh, read replicas or from the main uh, database. So effectively, we're distributing this uh, read workload, and this is very useful for read-heavy uh, applications because that way we can kind of not fully scale uh, our database horizontally. As we remember, um, relational databases don't scale well horizontally, they scale vertically, but we, at least we can scale the reading operations horizontally. So uh, we reduce the load on the original database or what, as it's called on the source database. Um, another thing available to you is um, read replicas in a different region. So you can uh, put a read replica into another region. Again, if you have an EC2 instance data, it will write into the original database, but it will read from the read replica, or it can read from the read replica. Um, and again, that not only uh, helps with scalability, but also improves local performance. So uh, the EC2 instance doesn't always have to go to a different region to read the data. It can read the data locally. And also it helps with disaster recovery. So if the original in, uh, region, the very first, uh, for instance, for example, in this case, US East 1 completely fails, the whole region fails, it's a big disaster, like maybe an earthquake or something like that, um, then 
uh, you can switch over, you can manually switch over that read replica in the other region to become a standalone database. So in the case of read replicas, you have a few different purposes. You have either scalability of read operations, you have local performance, and you have disaster recovery. So there you go, that's multi-AZ deployment and read replicas. Look out for these kind of questions on the exam. The objective described in the question will help you decide what kind of deployment is required, whether it's a multi-AZ deployment, an instance or cluster, whether it's a, a read replica in uh, one region or whether it's read replica in uh, multiple regions. So there we go, here's a quick summary of what we discussed and I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.